Oh. <laughs> he, he told he told on you, Nandy. Your dad snitched on you. That was Foo Fighters Everlong on Radio X. Merry Christmas, 25th of December. And I am very, very excited to say that I am joined by a proper legend. It's been a strange, strange year, but one person has had a very impressive 2020 indeed. I am joined by rock god, Nandy Bushel. Hello, Nandy. Merry Christmas. How are you today? You doing okay? I'm good, thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, first of all, Nandi, I have to say um, you have made the Radio X office very, very happy this year. We've been watching all the videos of you going crazy on the drum kit. We've got so much love and respect for you. So thank you so much for making everybody smile this year. Everybody needs a bit of a laugh this year and a bit of a smile. Uh, I've got to ask you, what are your plans for Christmas? What, what are you doing? Well, we're just staying at home. But I want a skateboard and a protect helmet for Christmas. <laughs> well, that was my next question. So you want a skateboard for Christmas. So obviously we know you're a very good drummer. Is skateboarding something else that you've got your eye on? Yeah, we have a ramp in our back garden, but we can't really go on it that much because it's raining all the time. <laughs> well, you, you do live in Ipswich. There is quite a lot of rain in Ipswich, but next summer I'm looking forward to seeing some videos of you skateboarding and hopefully challenging Tony Hawk to some skate-offs as well. So I've got to ask you, Nandy, it's been a crazy, crazy year, and I just played Foo Fighters Everlong, which was the song that kind of started this all off so you were playing everlong on twitter and you posted the video and you sent a challenge to dave Grohl at foo fighters can you please tell me what happened next and describe the moment where dave Grohl replied to you well i was just sitting in the living room watching tv daddy was like ah! <laughs> <laughs> and i watched the video and he's like i challenge you to a drum off and he starts playing everlong and making all these weird faces that I do. And then he suddenly starts playing what was it, um, an, one song that he was playing drums to with, it was like a special group called Crooked Vult um, Them Crooked Vultures. And the song was called Dead End Friends. And of course, I learned it in two days. And I smashed it. <laughs> smashed it that and I beat him. You did. You did. I was going to say, I love how you say, of course I learned it in two days. You did. You beat Dave Grohl, who is one of the greatest drummers of all time. You beat him in a drum off. So while this has all been going on, Nandy, presumably you've been going back to school. What have all your friends and all your schoolmates been thinking about you beating Dave Grohl in a drum off? What have they been saying every day? I don't really like to talk about it that much. They just say it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, you're very modest. You're much more humble than me, Nandy. I'd be bragging to my friends all the time about my friendship with Dave Grohl. So you're a better, you're a better person than me, I have to say. That was Hysteria by Muse on Radio X. All the songs this hour have been chosen on your Christmas Day by the one and only Nandy Bushel. Nandy Bushel, who won her drum off against the one and only Dave Grohl. Just casually, 10 years old, just beat Dave Grohl on a drum off, as you do. Uh, however... Dave Grohl isn't the only person that's responded to you because Muse replied to your video of you drumming this as well. So how did you feel? Where were you? Were you watching TV again when Muse responded to this video? Yes, probably. <laughs> I can't remember. But it was pretty cool. I love that song. And I also can play it on bass. It's pretty hard bass line. I really love it. I love the groove. It's pretty good. It's an amazing song. Yeah, I saw on the video as well. So not only can you play the drums, but I saw the video of you playing the bass to that as well. Ridiculously talented. And you said it's the hardest bass line you've ever learnt. Is that right? Yes, it was very hard. My fingers were getting blisters. <laughs> like a lot. Well, that's what it takes to be a rock god, Nandy. That's what it takes to be a rock god. Now, I have to ask you, Nandy, because when I watch the videos, right, you're so cool. You've got your hair up, big hair, you're screaming, you're twirling the drumstick around in your finger, you're chucking them in the air, you're dressed cool. Now, Nandy, I'm not anywhere near as cool as you, right? Nowhere near as cool. So I wanted to ask you, do you have any tips for me and people like me? What does it take to be cool? What does it take to be a cool drummer? You don't have to be, like, cool as in cool. You can just be yourself. And practice a lot. That will make that will get you pretty cool. That will make you pretty cool. Practice, be yourself, and have fun. 
I love that. That's great advice, not just for drumming, just for life. That's excellent advice. Be yourself and have fun, Nandy. I'm going to take that advice with me into Christmas. So thank you very much for that. Uh, now, another track that you've picked out for us is by Lenny Kravitz. And again, Lenny Kravitz is somebody that you have become friends with. So talk me through, what have you and Lenny Kravitz been up to over the last year or so? Tell me what's happened with Lenny. Well, it was actually quite a while ago, a year in April, and he invited me to the O2 Arena in London, and I played um, Are You Gonna Go My Way? And it was, it was amazing, pretty cool. I mean, not bad at 10 years old to be playing the O2 Arena, Nandy. So we have lots of... I was of nine then. Oh, you were nine then. Yeah, of course. I should. I, uh, important that I mentioned that. You were nine at the time. That's absolutely right. Because lots of people listen to Radio X that uh, are in bands or want to be musicians. And here you are at nine years old, casually playing at the O2 Arena. Now, did you get... Do you ever get nervous, Nandy? Were you nervous at all before you went on stage at the O2 Arena? No, I don't really get nervous for that, for those sort of things. Well, I'm glad. Well, you couldn't. You could tell that you weren't nervous at all when you were playing with Lenny Kravitz. So obviously, you've had a response from Dave Grohl. Uh, you've had a response from Muse, Lenny Kravitz. I saw you hanging out with Ellen DeGeneres in America as well. Now you're here on Radio X, which of course is the biggest accomplishment of all. It, who is on your dream list? Is there anybody that you've not interacted with yet that you've not spoken to who you'd love to chat to and love to play some drums with? Well, Billie Eilish. I really love her music. I just like. I love how it's like unique so no one else does that sort of music and I love her style too yeah she's so cool Billie Eilish well I am sure that one day you will definitely get the chance to hang out when the world gets back to normal Nandy I'm sure you'll get to hang out with Billie Eilish she's a very very cool cat uh, by the way I've got to ask you as well so it's very funny so I was speaking to your dad John before we did this interview and he told me that your favourite radio station is Radio X, but apparently you sometimes ask, what's wrong with all the presenters? Why do they shout so much? <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> he, he, told, he told on you, Nanda, your dad snitched on you. Uh, I can see Nanny now laughing and pointing at her dad off camera. Now, um, I do apologise, but it's pretty amazing considering that you play the drums so loudly and you shout all the time, but still, us presenters are too loud for you. Who was it, do you think? Do you think it was me or do you reckon it was Johnny Vaughan? Because I think it was Johnny Vaughan. It was Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> He's very loud, our Johnny. He's even louder than the drums that you like to play. Uh, well, I'll speak to Johnny, Nandy, and I'll get him to just quieten down next time, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I've also got to ask you, you've had an amazing year, but what are your dreams for the future? Where, where do you see yourself in the future, Nandy? Do you want to be the drummer in a band? Do you want to do your own solo music? Do you want to be a professional skateboarder? If, if you could wave a magic wand, where do you see yourself in five, ten years' time? I see myself with a full platinum album touring around the world with a band. And also being a professional skateboarder. <laughs> okay, so not many expectations. See what I have. What was that? A triple platinum album, quadruple platinum album, selling concerts out around the world, and a professional skateboarder. Now, normally, if a ten-year-old Nandy came to me and said that that was their dream. I'd very kindly but very nicely say, I think that's a bit unrealistic. But because it's you, I have complete faith, Nandy. I completely believe in you. And I'm very, very sure that we'll be playing some of your music on Radio X in the near future. And I very much look forward to uh, to playing that. And I hope that Johnny doesn't shout all over the music when he does play it as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, uh, finally, Nandy, and thank you so much for picking this hour of music. Such good choices. Do you want to play a Christmas game that I've invented just just for this occasion? Yes, definitely. Okay, great. So the game that, uh, that we've come up with, uh, it's a game that I created. It's called Drummer or Plumber. And it's a very simple game. I've got a list of names in front of me, Nandy. And I'm going to ask you if you think they are a drummer or they are a plumber who fixes bathrooms and toilets that we found on the internet. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start very, very easy. Okay. So the first question in drummer or plumber is Dom Howard. Is Dom Howard a drummer or a plumber? Drummer. Yes, drummer. yes. Well done, Nandy. Yes, yes. A drummer. 
Very well done, okay? So you've got uh, one out of one so far. So well done, Nandy. Okay. Uh, next up, Matt Helders. Matthew Helders. Do you think drummer or plumber? Drummer. Yeah. Yes. Straight in there. Love that, Nandy. Arctic Monkeys drummer, Matt Helders. Very, very well done. Uh, okay. Next up, what about Luigi Mario? Plumber. <laughs> I thought I'd try and trick you there. Luigi Mario is, of course, the plumber from Nintendo. Very well done. I thought I was going to catch you out there. Uh, okay, what about Joe Donovan, drummer or plumber? This is a bit harder. Joe Donovan, drummer or plumber? Um, have I got three out, of three out of three so far? You've got three out of three so far, so whatever happens, you're doing very well. I'd say no. <laughs> I don't know. I just go for drummer. Go for drummer. It was a very good guess because Joe Donovan is the drummer in Blossoms. Well done. Well done. You're four out of four so far. Very well done, Nandy. Uh, okay. The next name is John Harrington. I'll just go for plumber. You'll just go for plumber. And again, an excellent guess, Nandy, because John <laughs> Harrington is a plumber. He invented the world's first ever flushing toilet. So there you go. <laughs> you learn something new every day, don't you, Nandy? Uh, okay. Uh, finally, my last one. Drummer or plumber, Ben Thatcher. Drummer. Of course, the drummer in Royal Blood. I know they're one of your favourite bands. Well done, Nanny. You got full marks. We've never played the game Drummer or Plumber before. We'll probably never play it again. And you got full marks. It's something else that you can add to your long list of things that you're very good at. Um, so all that's left for me to say, Nandy, is genuinely thank you so much for keeping us entertained this year. You've been brilliant. Uh, I really enjoy following your progress on social media. And will you will you promise me, Nandy, when the world gets back to normal, will you please come and visit and uh, come and visit us in Radio X and Bring your drum kit as well yes awesome awesome uh nandy until then keep rocking you absolute legend and have a lovely christmas with your family as well you too thank you thanks nandy bye 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 thank bye. you bye merry christmas radio x